everybody, welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We got a raid lined up for just a little bit later today. Not to mention, we got a look at something fan freaking fantastic, and that is right here. Boom! What you guys are seeing was posted earlier today in the form of a cipher. And as you guys know, every time a cipher is posted, that means two things. Number one, the next update is very, very close. And number two, it is telling us something about that next update, which is very close. So given the fact that this was posted on a Friday, Kafir usually does not update on a weekend. I would say that it is some very good timing for potentially an update coming our way next week. So without further ado, let's start breaking it down. Greetings, survivors. I have a message for you from a bunker scientist. He reports on the features of the updates, but unfortunately, I lost the decoding of his letter. Help decipher his message and find out what will be in the update. Parts of the keys are scattered across the social networks of the project. You need to combine them. Keys can be found on VK, Twitter, and Facebook. And then it was deciphered into this cipher description decryption description same thing survivors if you're reading this it means you've been able to decipher my letter i managed over here a conversation of military men discussing a new weapon in the game you also noticed an sos signal coming from the camp the abandoned camp that they've been kind of teasing as of late and you have to go there and save one of your men the new year is near so it's worth visiting the snowy racetrack so from all the information that we got from the cipher this pretty much all is going to have to do with that next update so what can we break down for this number one they're talking about the camp so pretty much confirmation that within that next update we will be getting that brand new event the abandoned camp that's gonna have something to do with the dog we saw a look at it earlier in the week we broke it down a little bit more in depth back then but it does appear like it might even potentially be adding in a new type of a backpack as well but it's gonna have something to do with like a dog and potentially dogs will be like a reward we'll get out of this which would be cool because there's not really an event that explicitly gives you dogs guaranteed so maybe this will be that that, but it appears we are going to need to actually save someone from like a zombie infested canyon of these hunters who got themselves in trouble there's going to be other hunters potentially helping us with that rescue effort making it seem like it's going to be a really cool event and it's always good to have more events because event variety is awesome because then you know like different events pop up and it's just kind of like it's more unique when it's not just like always air drops and chopper events you know so it's very nice to see more stuff coming within that next update they do detail also a new weapon in the game currently the only weapon that they have officially revealed and teased in like a very explicit fashion is the Uzi so I would bet on that being it but within the winter update teaser trailer there was actually a look at two other unrevealed weapons one of which appears to be the M416 which has been teased in the past and another one which appears to be another type of rifle but those were never as explicitly stated and those are also not as recent as the teaser for the Uzi which they have shown off because they were teasing the Uzi right around the time that they were easing the blah, teasing the abandoned camp as well so it would make sense for the Uzi to be coming along potentially this uzi will actually be a reward from the uh camp or whatever which i would definitely look forward to can't wait to go and get that uzi not to mention mod the bejesus out of it because from that image it appears that there are going to be some very nice mods coming for the uzi so hopefully we can get our hands on those and on top of it all they do make mention of the snowy racetrack and they're saying the new year is near we do know that there's going to potentially be another part to the christmas update because we have yet to see the santa zombie that was teased so potentially that santa zombie will be appearing as a boss or something in the snowy racetrack but what I, something's gonna happen something's gonna change at the snowy racetrack because they wouldn't just bring it up you know so something's gonna be going on that has to do with the fact that the new year is getting closer and so is christmas but all in all that is the information that we got out of today's cypher that i am extremely excited to go ahead and uh, well very soon hop into because that update honestly it looks like it's going to be adding in a couple of different things between that new weapon which is shaping up to be the uzi the camp which is definitely going to be awesome and making the snowy racetrack or whatever that spawns in also a little bit more worthwhile all very awesome things that i am definitely looking forward to and hopefully you guys are as well but go and let me know what y'all think how hype are you guys for update 1.11.1 coming up are you excited how much can you not wait to get your hands on that abandoned camp or upon the uzi any and all that type of jazz i would love to hear from y'all the hype levels because you already know i'm hyped because i love anything and everything that's new i love 
checking out new things because it's always a blast and it's always great to see more variety and more content continuously being added to last day on earth and especially something like a weapon that who knows how hard this uzi is gonna get to i'd love to hear from you guys how hard you think the uzi is gonna be the fact that we know that it is potentially like signs are pointing towards the uzi being the gun like there's still a chance it could be those other two right so let me know if you, what you guys think regarding that but i would say that it's most likely going to be that uzi but let me know what y'all think if maybe it'll be the reward of the camp how you think we might be getting that since we kind of know the general gist of what should be bundled within this update and of course as soon as that update does come out later i mean well not later this week because well it's already friday man and tomorrow is saturday winner of that 25 dollar i2 slash play store being uh, announced a little bit the gift card being announced a little bit later not later tomorrow in tomorrow's video is what i meant to say sorry my mind's all over the place i've been studying for my last final tomorrow we had a final today and went eh kind of okay could have gone better could have definitely gone worse but there was definitely some problems i was punching myself over because i was like ah i knew how to do those but in the moment i didn't know how to do it it is always the worst when you think you know something or no when you know you know something but just in the moment you forget it uh, I'm, I'm i'm not here to complain about my test man all right i'm here to talk about more fan freaking fantastic things such as that awesome update which is slated to come and as soon as that update does come out likely within the next week hopefully even sooner you know we're gonna be all over we're gonna be showing off the uzi we're gonna be going to the camp showing off all the loot that there is best ways to go about going about that camp any and all that type of jazz and it's gonna be a very very fun time but go ahead and let me know what y'all think about it in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way it's the week 12 dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will let you out today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on its video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be what for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure y'all stay tuned because that saturday is gonna be tomorrow and have that notification bell hits so you know when that video goes live not to mention that's a great way of staying up to date with every single video i'll enter and on for that weekly giveaway all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well not to mention i'm actually cooking up a couple of pretty fun games i'm looking forward to hopping into i think some of you guys will enjoy they have some survival elements to them but they're some pretty big titles actually especially on the mobile side so i think you guys specifically are going to like them so keep your eyes and ears peeled upon that but like I was saying, the big ticket item, of course, is the fact that that update is going to be coming out. And as soon as it comes out, as soon as any update comes out, you know we are always all over the place with that covering it to its fullest extent, showing off all that it has to offer, having a fan freaking fantastic time. And on top of it all, whenever information such as the information coming out today comes out, not only are we making sure you guys are informed about it, but we're also breaking it down, going in depth about that info, such as connecting it to all the stuff we've seen in the past, connecting things that we've seen from kafir in the past general patterns of how they go about updates relative to what we've seen etc etc so all in all a very great reason to make sure y'all are staying tuned with that bell ding 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 hits but in the meantime we got some openings to do and we got a couple of police blueprints as we continue clawing our way towards i believe max level for the police bike or are we gonna level it up to level two I think we're coming up on max level potential. We almost have our military motorcycle leveled up. We got all this jazz, but unfortunately, it does not appear that we got the too lucky in this front, which is wah, wah, a little bit sad, but I did want to make our way to the gas station, drop off a couple of things since we have a huge steel plate supply. I know you guys, you guys cringe when you see me turn in all those steel plates, but you guys got to understand. We got really lucky when one time Kafir had those insanely good packs where if you got lucky, you got like 400 steel plates or something. And uh, well, we got insanely lucky like three times in a row. So I have a ridiculous steel stockpile that I'm more than willing to dip into on top of the steel we got stockpiled back at our base. So I don't know why I was about to run back to the gas station. So I'm more than willing to invest that into getting our choppers upgraded and hopefully trying to get all of our choppers max level because I'm trying to show off all that there is within that chopper update. And God dang it, I don't care the pain that it brings me or potentially my wallet if it means that I can show off something awesome for y'all. Have a fan freaking fantastic time and do some dope things i am always ready and willing to drop them dollar dues after all we are doing that weekly giveaway of course and that's just to spread some fan freaking fantasticness and some positivity to you lads and lassies the very best lads and lassies on the entirety of this earth this youtube community and hello survivors how do you do please don't shoot me i don't appreciate this and you know what 
you go get shot back haven't you guys learned your lesson from everyone else who decides to camp out around here i am not very nice or agreeable when it comes to you shooting me with bullets okay i come here maybe you're getting attacked by a zombie horde i'm more than happy to well i'm not actually more than happy to help maybe they've learned that i just sit there and watch them die to the zombie horde and then in the middle of that steal their stuff so maybe i brought this upon myself okay i might need to take the blame for that but you you still shouldn't be shooting strangers here you know it's not very nice although it is the zombie apocalypse so i can't entirely blame them either you know i think i'm the bad guy in this situation eh, it's all good we got pantalones we got shotgun rain all is going well speaking of shotgun rain if you guys haven't already make sure to check that link at the very tippity top of the description to go ahead and make your way over to the brand new merch store that is launched with an awesome ton of shotgun rain and star snipe merch that i think you guys will absolutely adore and love been working on it a ton with super talented designers it was a multi-month process to get that stuff popping off and hello today's chopper event has some pretty good stuff so go ahead and give it a look order asap so you can maximize the possibility of y'all getting it before christmas just in time before that holiday season because it's the season of giving baby and no better thing to give than shotgun rain in a non-lethal fashion and uh well the merch is a pretty good way of that but it's also i don't know i seriously appreciate anyone who does go ahead and cop that it does mean a ton to me don't feel pressured to do it or anything but it's just really awesome because we put a ton of work into it and it's a great way of showing support for the channel while also getting something awesome back because i honestly dude i already like i said i already ordered a couple pieces of that merch i'm so excited to get mine shipped in because there's some awesome sweatshirts i'm a huge sweatshirt guy and even long sleeves to an extent like i don't personally do t-shirts too much but one of the t-shirts has like this awesome color scheme to it it's like this awesome color of blue i actually ended up copping that that might be a good little undershirt for me you know to go with my outfits and whatnot but that's enough talking about that well actually one other thing i did want to mention about that also there will be a link to go over and get yourself some shotgun rain mugs for any type of beverage you might have coffee tea uh soda ain't nothing saying you can't put soda in a mug it's a great beverage container for all you lads and lassies out there and not just that but also from over there in hello i'm also gonna make a pit stop over to this airdrop but uh from over there you can cop a shotgun rain mug which we partnered up with gamer grind to do and on top of that we also did uh actually whip up our very own coffee last semester i took an entire coffee class because i love coffee today i've been studying for finals i've been doing finals i drank like two to three cups of coffee and it's awesome being able to have access to my own coffee that i hand picked like the mix of beans different strains like from different origins different cultivars it was just so awesome to be able to work on that from scratch have it come to fruition and partner up to make it a reality so if any of you guys like coffee that's a great way also of showing support while getting your hands on some dank delicious gucci mcswagons coffee and how to not be that toxic spitter because if you buy the coffee i can guarantee you i will not shoot you in the face i'm not saying if you don't buy the coffee i will shoot you in the face hello i like what i see but i'm just saying you know i if you buy it i definitely won't shoot you in the face again not saying if you don't buy it you're getting shot but if you do 100% chance nothing's happening. I kid, I kid. He said joke, he said joke. Just, just, covefe. Yes, he gets a, okay, okay, no. I kid, hey, get it if you want. If not, no worries. I'm just happy you guys are here. Having a fantastic time with me and hopefully with a smile on your face, whether that be from, well, me or anything else going on in your guys' and gals' lives. I hope that it is going fantastic and only gets more fantastic from here on out with nothing but positivity going your way, whether that be maybe a joke I cracked during one of my videos, another series on the channel, channel or another youtuber entirely or something awesome happened irl to you today whatever it might be i hope something fan freaking fantastic is going on in that marvelous life of yours and i do hope we're just kind of running out of the map really quick to get that zombie horde to despawn because if there's a zombie horde attack you can actually leave the map and it will bada bing bada boom make the horde go away and you actually do not suffer anything from it and ooh. I'm a little bit tempted to actually head over to that destroyed convoy for unt moment. So I'm going to put some stuff away here for a sec. But yeah, I do hope that whatever it might be that's bringing a smile to your face. I hope that there is some smiling going on in the marvelous lives of yours. But I got some stuff to put away and a military convoy to visit before we go on this raid. So talk to y'all in a sec all right so i put some stuff away i didn't put everything away because we'll also probably find some other decent stuff over at the military convoy and at the end of the day the big reason we go to the military convoy is uh well i want to get my grubble of fingers on 
Well, that grubby little finger of the military, because then when we head over to the bunker, something that we gotta do yet again, because the bunker is very nice. I've just been trying to stockpile some of the red tickets we've been getting from raids and whatnot. And also, I've been getting C4 relatively consistently. The other day, I didn't get C4 from any of our misadventures because I do go out on the adventures trying to acquire the C4 before we do go out on raids and stuff today. I was pretty desperate for it since, well, we were at zero C4 and I actually got really lucky. We managed to get all the way up to two C4, which is going to be great because that means that we should have plenty of firepower to break into today's raid, which is always a good thing. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. It appears that we have the zombie military convoy event but hopefully we can get a finger utilize that at the bunker and then run over to the bunker we almost have enough red tickets to pop open a red ticket crate we're working our way towards the next floppy disk both of which are also great ways of acquiring c4 amongst other very nice items so i think all in all we are in a pretty great game shape over here and i like the ways that things are headed but for now Let's just continue heading things into the military convoy fashion because there are things that need to die and I have some pistol drizzle that needs to assist them with that death. Now, unfortunately, we're not killing raiders. I kind of like when it's raiders because sometimes they'll drop like their machetes and melee weapons, which is really nice. Like the zombies are easier, don't get me wrong, but the loot in the other one is better, I feel like, and I, except, except for this fella right here. You gotta have a ranged weapon if you wanna deal with Mr. Frenzy Giant. Why is that? Well, uh, look at that! I have full SWAT armor and Frenzy Giant does 68 damage because in case you guys are not aware, Frenzy Giants are very, very lethal, not just in the bunker, but also outside of it. So military convoy trespasser beware. That might be a very angry lad trying to punch a hole in your face. In the Frenzy Giant, if he's doing 68 damage to me with SWAT armor, he is definitely capable of punching holes in faces, okay? Because he's almost capable of punching me hard enough to kill me. Actually, if I was naked, I'm pretty confident he might be able to do exactly that. Which is horrifying when a zombie is capable of such things. You know what I gotta do? Yo, no, whenever the hub comes, that thing that they've been teasing a little bit, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Hey, we got our hands on that finger. But if you guys know what I'm talking about, the hub, the thing that Kafir has been teasing a little bit, that kind of like central town area that's gonna have a variety of uh, different types of things you could do in there for some sort of currency, a lot of like stuff focused and based around currency with like a currency system uh stuff like uh betting i think like we might even potentially be able to race our motorcycles there but being able to like bet on zombie arena battles that type of stuff all i know is that with that zombie betting that it could be coming over there uh in a zombie arena if there's a frenzy giant i am putting all of my money on the frenzy giant that is a very very safe bet without a doot but all right let's go and see what the rest of these zombies got i mean for the most part the zombies probably aren't gonna have the good stuff the good stuff from the military convoy comes from the raiders if they are present or from the baggies and also from the dead military dude that's actually where the best stuff is because that finger once you get it over to the bunker and utilize it to unlock that biometric scanner usually leads to you to like i mean i've pretty consistently gotten like a gun out of there like some copper all in all like pretty pretty like a1 type things especially for I mean, what, just getting a finger from a relatively easy event? I'm not going to call the military convoy easy because, you know, if you're, like, brand new, you might not have the tools, the melee weapons necessary to mow through everyone here. But I, in terms of events, it's definitely on the easier side. And I don't know, the finger reward, when you get a finger out of the military convoy, 100 P, it is worth it. And also, I think the first time you go to the convoy, you get... Do you still get the minigun? Because I remember back in the day when the convoy was a one-time event, you did get the minigun. But now that... I, I think it still might be like that the first time. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong on that. But I think that might still be the way it works. But for the most part, we got the good stuff out of here. Maybe we missed a chest or a dead body somewhere. But guys, for the most part, we checked all the areas that are likely to have the good stuff. Like Mr. Dead Military Dude, who did have some very nice stuff. Thank you kindly. But uh, we got Luciano, who wants to be raided. Well, I don't know if he wants to be raided, but he's going to be getting a base full of raid brought to you by papa star raiding incorporated so i'm gonna go ahead start preparing for that and talk to y'all
And it's like, and all right, lads, take a look at our inventory. We got plenty of very silenced weaponry. We're bringing a couple of hatchets because uh, we also do have, if you cop a peek over here, still a couple of hatchets left over from the abandoned house raids that we got. So we are in prime position to capitalize on that. And the really nice thing about having those in our inbox is that we can pull them out as needed. And why is that nice? Because then we don't actually waste iron hatchets doing any of this. Like we're bringing a couple obviously there's gonna be stuff to break we want to be safe but sometimes we bring too much and that is where it's just kind of like a really nice preventative measure because when we have these like we could pull them out as needed but they don't take up inventory room and that is that is awesome so that's kind of like the nice thing that we managed to get is a byproduct from those abandoned houses as well so i'll go ahead and give that one and a half a thumbs up why well because day two and three Day three especially were pretty mad raids, although day one, four, and five of the abandoned house, ooh la la, and speaking of mad raids, meh. That's exactly how I feel about this because it looks like we got a default base today. Not a fan of that, no, 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 not today. Okie dokie, well, there could be some really good stuff in there. And as you all know, I'm all for taking L's if it means that it might help you guys catch a dub. So if you guys come across Luciano's base, just think of me in the C4 that I am sacrificing to potentially get hot trash. Hopefully though, get hot fire. Like I'm super hot boy. Dollar iced tea from McDonald's. I drink that. Mm. Oh, it's got that steel floor though. Fancy. Do these things have steel floors by default? Or has this dude just for some reason been upgrading his floor to steel? I don't entirely remember because I haven't made a new account in, well, ever since that this like update was added in that gives you like a little default base. So I, uh, I, I know that it gives you this. I know that it comes with like stone wall. I actually, no, no, no. I, I think he's been upgrading this. Cause yeah, it comes with like wood and stuff. It's not encased in stone. So I think he's done some work on his base. He just hasn't really expanded it or anything. He's gotten it up to steel floors. I I don't think it'd come with steel floors, right? He's got an empty box over there, but it appears that it's actually coming with not a lot of whole ton of anything, really, period. Never mind. Okay, I eat those words. It came with something. It wasn't something huge, but at least it came with something. That is a partial W. And I could live with that. I kind of brought this extra pistol because I had a couple of lower durability pistols we were using. Because it's usually, usually I like to bring about two full durabilities worth of pistols. So that's kind of what I brought. Because that's usually enough to get us through uh, all three waves. And then also the toxic abominations that come with the big one. Uh, let's freaking go. Okay, we got some shotgun rain popping off today. I can live with this. Today's been a decent day. And hold up. Hey, 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 hey shoot zombies every day get over your fast biter you all got some bullets to catch up in those not so pretty little faces of yours Boop. there you go there she blows and down he goes and we got a couple of abominations to take down followed by a couple of the bloaters that happen to be floaters and uh i think that i don't know like maybe we'll break through i think there was like a workbench in there we could break down see if there's anything decent but at least we got a pistol and actually the shotgun really helps kind of offset the cost of a c4 because i know a c4 could definitely lead to more lucrative loot but listen y'all know me as a man of shotgun rain if i could get a shotgun rain from anything i am not a man to complain so i mean it's not the best loot in the world but like that 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 and like a couple of other minor things we'll be picking up man doesn't even have any workbenches what is this dude up to i how do you even get this steel plate these are great questions of which I do not know the answer to. So I guess the game plan is just pick up the rest of this and roll with that because there ain't much else to pick up. So I'll grab what I can. I know there's room in our chopper too, but uh, I'm not just trying to pill it up. Pill it? No, fill it. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm not just trying to fill it up with pure garbage. And four of these, 17 of these, like, you guys kind of see where I'm going with that. It's not the most desirable of goods over here although i guess I, I i could grab the wires that's like semi-decent so i guess i'll start putting some stuff away and organizing that but with that said with that done and that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth survival i hope that y'all did enjoy if you did let me know of course by hitting that like button and saying so down below not to mention can't wait to hear what y'all gotta say about this upcoming update that well 
is very close and looks like it's going to be adding a pretty decent amount of stuff between a new weapon and a new event on top of new stuff at the snow track slash yeah the snowy racetrack that's what it's called at the snowy racetrack potentially or maybe they're kind of saying that there might be something new added closer to new year's whatever it might be the the update is near and i cannot wait to hop into it and hopefully you guys can't either and hopefully get some uzis that we could mod the bejesus out of but with that said with that done that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of last day honor survival best of luck to you guys and gals get in the chopper gas tank and join in the chopper squadron best of luck bringing your pup getting the true friend perk leveling up your own perks and skills not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got best of luck building up your base going out on the dopest of raids defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you getting past the multi play a wall had a most important of all having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna do it for me best look now 25 dollars to such place to a gift card giveaway winner being announced tomorrow in saturday's episode and new giveaway being kicked off as well thank you guys a whole ton for watching hope this was an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see you